Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Pop. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, today we're going to be doing another kind of discussion thing, uh, talking about uh, E3 a little bit, uh, but mostly, well, I guess not mostly. We will be talking about E3, but specifically, um, specifically Minecraft and what they announced and what it means for the future of the game that I play and that most of you guys play, uh, the Java version of the game. Uh, so for those of you who don't know. Um, first of all, uh, before I start, if I'm going to be flying around our server world. If you don't know what the server is, uh, the IP will be in the description down below. Um, but to the content of the video, um, mo for those of you who don't know, uh, at E3, Minecraft announced that they're going to be going forward with cross-platform support, which is sounds like an exciting thing. Um, but when you dig deeper into what it means for us, it could mean something pretty concerning. Um, the cross-platform support is for the Windows 10 version of the game, the Xbox 360 and Xbox One version, I believe, as well as mobile. Um, now, this is great for those players. However, Java was not included in this. And um, along with this announcement, they also announced more DLC, uh, the capability for larger servers, and basically shaders for all these versions. Obviously, all these things come as DLC for these game modes. You have to pay extra for them. Um, and so because of that, there there's a way for Microsoft, who's now the owner of Minecraft, to make money off of it. And this is sort of going to be the focus of my video. And it's kind of, it's concerning to me because it, it shows some a pattern which I expected when Minecraft purchased the game, or when Microsoft purchased the game. But it sort of just confirms it. And unfortunately... There's nothing we can do about it as Java players. But what this signifies to me, what I believe this signifies, is Microsoft is pushing away from the Java version of the game for two reasons. First of all, there's not as many sales in the Java version of the game compared to other versions of the game simply because it's been out longer. Because of that, a lot of the players have found it, whereas players who have the Java version of the game may choose to buy the mobile version or the console version. Uh, and so because of that, there's more sales. Additionally, there's no chance in hell that DLC would work in the Java version of the game simply because the community creates its own DLC and shares it for free, or you play, pay the developer of the DLC as opposed to paying Microsoft, the corporation that owns Minecraft. And so because of that, I think Microsoft has made the decision to move completely away from it. And I wonder which update will be our last and at what point Microsoft will simply say, all right, we're done developing Java. Let's just work on the other games. Uh, because you can see that this is the... When you look at, for example, Minecraft's YouTube channel, the only time they ever update any, or, uh, announce anything on that channel related to Java is a complete update. So a 1.12 update, for example. Whereas if you're looking at uh, what, they, what they do videos on for other um, versions of the game, whether it be mobile or console or anything, they announce DLC packages and things like that. Now, why couldn't Minecraft, um, why couldn't Minecraft simply advertise other people's skins or other people's plugins that people in the community have made? Why is it something that they only advertise things that can make them more of a profit, where it would still profit them because by advertising the Java version of the game, other players who may, or other people who may not be aware of the Java version may choose to purchase it. But like I was saying, this brings, a, this brings forward a greater pattern of sort of ignoring the Java version of the game, which is unfortunate because it is the original version of the game. Um, so it's disappointing to see that, that the game has sort of been, the original version of the game has sort of been abandoned and, wow, this hasn't been looted yet. Um, and it's, I guess for me, it's the only version I've ever played. So it's a little bit upsetting for me and it's sort of a re reaching a point where I think it's, it's become abundantly clear that Java is from a development standpoint for this version of the game, Java is on the decline. And I wouldn't be surprised if at this point, by, if by this point next year, they've announced that they're not developing Java any further. Um, so what does this mean for the community now? This is a whole other conversation. And I think this is why I find a little bit of peace with my concerns, because even if they do choose to stop the development of, of uh, the Java version of the game, the community won't die in any sense whatsoever. Uh, and you can just simply see this by looking at anything like Planet Minecraft or the, any of those websites where I was looking through the, the just the website the other day and I noticed that half of the players or half the posts were for uh, help looking for mods or plugins for versions of the game that have like 1.7 or 1.8. And so it shows that 
despite the fact that they keep updating Java, some players choose to stay behind in an older version. And this is an important fact, because if they should they choose to stop updating Java, the only thing it would mean is that the community can focus on one thing and one thing only, and that's modding the game. And that's creating a better game for for the players as a whole without the official development releases. And so what I hope we see from this as a result of this is in the last Minecraft update, uh, whenever they choose to do it, I hope that they make it easier for modders. And I'm hoping there are rumors that the 1.13 update is going to have um, a feature that basically, or fix the feature that uh, basically Minecraft is approaching the limit in custom blocks it could have, and or in blocks, sorry, that it can have. And because of that, adding new blocks is difficult for modders and for the game in general. I'm hoping that they add things to the game that make it easier for the community to mod the game. And by doing that, I hope that the community will be able to come together and sort of release its own updates through through mods and through things like that. And hopefully the game will continue to live on after the updates stop. Because it, it is everything comes to an end, right? And that's something that we all need to expect. And Minecraft has been developing for, I think, five, five or six years now. It's been a long time. It might be even longer than that, to be honest. So I, I don't think it's unreasonable to expect the game will eventually stop being developed. It's just unfortunate to see the way in which they're doing it because the, they've decided that they're just going to abandon Minecraft uh, on Java is just to sort of pursue more profits in other forms. And so there's a lot of unlooted dungeons. I thought they were all looted on the map. Um, it's unfortunate, but I guess the end, the re way it reaches the end doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just hopeful that the game will continue to develop in a way that players will be able to enjoy it more. And and so I'm hoping that basically what I'd like to see if this game chooses to, if, if the developers choose to stop developing Minecraft, is I hope they make it easier for things like mo creatures to be in, in put into a server through a plugin basis where mods, basically if mods could be done server side instead of client side, I think it would greatly, greatly improve the quality of servers for Java. And I think a lot of players want this because it's something that it's not something that would take away from the game. It was something that would only add to the game. How much better would this be if instead of seeing pigs and sheep, we see different, uh, different animals like from no creatures is hanging out. And, and I think that that's something that all what in the world. Huh. That is cool. Huh. Let me trade in here. 30 paper. I kind of want to live here now. Um, uh, some it's it's I completely lost my train of thought now. It, it's something that I, I think would make things this better. Uh, frankly, is if if they tried, I, I don't know how hard it would be. Um, I I don't know the the technical stuff behind it, but I I'm sure it can be done. There's so much that can be done in in this game that I wouldn't wouldn't think it's far fetched at all to believe that something like like that can be done and something. Mods can be done server side instead of client and server side, so I'm hoping that that that's something we'll see. Is that the develop final update whenever it should be, or whenever it will be, will be something that provides modders in the community an easier time in what they're doing. But um, I mean, it's still it's still upsetting to see the way they've kind of just the the way they've the the way they've they've done it um, the, through just sort of slowly phasing out Java. I think is kind of a, a disrespectful treatment of the community that founded the game. But it's simply, in my opinion, because Minecraft was purchased by Microsoft and Microsoft has no attachment to the original community. They couldn't really care about, they don't really care about them. They didn't purchase Minecraft for the community. They purchased it because they thought it was profitable, which it is. Um, so there's no, the like, I feel bad faulting anybody for the way they've done, what they've done through this process, because the everyone's in their right. Minecraft's a com or Microsoft's a company. It's unfair to expect them to not try and make extra money. Um, and the, the developers are still developing both versions of the game the same way. I just think that the way they've slowly tried to phase out the game is kind of disrespectful in a way, in a sense, um, to the original players of the game. Uh, but again, not really much you can do about it. I would have preferred some sort of openness about what they're planning on doing with the future of, of Java because it's kind of up in the air right now and players are kind of wondering what's going to happen and so i don't think that that's very fair of them to do but again it's their game they can do what they want uh so i guess that's it kind of a rant video um but i hope you guys enjoyed uh if you did enjoy and you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning viewer i hope you also enjoyed if you did be sure to hit that like and that favorite and share the channel with some of your friends uh it's the only way a channel my size can grow so 
hopefully uh, if, if you did enjoy and you share the channel with some of your friends the channel will keep growing and we'll keep getting a bigger and a uh, better community so thank you guys very much for watching this has been minecraft my name is game Pulp, and i will catch you guys all later have a good one